And when I saw with my colleagues that Canadian corporations were involved as uh, commercial partners with rebels in the war in Congo that made well, around five million deaths, I said, well, in France, they talk about the French involvement in the uh, genocide in Rwanda. But what we are talking about here is, is very serious. We can make a comparison. And well, this uh, Congolese war was um, a very important issue that the Canadians had to be aware of. And that's why we started to work on it. Well, in 2008, 450 billion dollars were traded on mining stocks at, in Toronto. People fight to control the mining concessions. The UN said it very clearly a lot of times. Uh, the company get access to these resources and say afterwards to the stock market, look what we have. We have a copper co uh, concession, we have a gold concession, we have a diamond concession, we have cobalt, we have coltan, we have... Look, so our, the value of our stock, of our stock will, will raise because we, we are now, um, we own now something valuable uh, and we got it for a very low price. Um, because the people who s sold those concessions deeply need money to finance their war. Uh, and there's nothing to stop that in, in Canada. So the question we ask is, how much does it cost to see a, the value of a stock raising at the Toronto Stock Exchange? What does it mean for the people that um, uh, are the victims of this, these exploitation or exploration uh, project? Um, does it mean that a corporation has to bribe uh, to do arm dealings, to uh, account on uh, mercenaries?